Trevor. Yo, what's shaking AC? <laughs> That's like a special thing. Like I, I sometimes wish I could just get on a call with you just for that, but I need a laugh. But oh, really? it would wear, wear out, right? Like it, I think the novelty would wear off. So it's like, it's a special thing for that. When we rant once a week, I get to hear that. Oh, you know what? I'll make it a recording and I'll make it available online as a non-fungible token. There you go. <laughs> I'm not even... <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. I'm just going to leave that one alone. Listen, I heard that you got uh, the the great pleasure and honor of being the closing keynote speaker at a recent CFA event, right? How, how did that happen? Yeah, it was pretty fun. It was pretty awesome. Um, it was the Women in Leadership. Actually, it wasn't that's quite the right way to put it. Let me start over. It was called Elevate and Empower. Uh, female leadership during uncertain times. And I said this at the beginning, and I'm, I'm not kidding. I have to admit that when the CFA committee asked me if I wanted to do the closing keynote, my immediate response was kind of like, ah, huh, that's interesting. They like, they see me as a leader. I'm like, but am I really like, what am I going to talk about? So yeah. it was, it was, a, it was an honor and a pleasure. And, and I was like, what do I even know about being a great leader during uncertain times? Okay. Um, but then, but the, yeah, so but then I got in, got thinking about it, and I was like, you know, I I I have to say, like, I I think that uh, what happens is people see when you put yourself out there, you know, they start to think of you as a leader. So I don't know, it, it was it was awesome. I I really enjoyed the opportunity, and I think it was a great event. I always think the CFA is awesome for the work they do, especially during this these this roller coaster time for small businesses. They have worked so hard to educate and keep people connected and, you know, just keep people informed as much as they can. So okay. So before I, I ask you what, what you talked about in your keynote, I want to ask you how you define leadership. What is leadership to you? Yeah, well, that's a great question. And I, I, I think I kind of made this answer, like I talked about this in, in my keynote. And I think I kind of made this answer up based on the fact that people are calling me a leader. <laughs> I'm like, well, if I'm a leader, like what I thought of as a leader is not what I am. Like what I, like, you know, 10 years ago, if you asked me what a leader was, I probably would have had a different definition. And it would have been more about like somebody who is in a role that they're in charge of other people, you know, they, they're responsible for, for motivating people or whatever they're responsible for. But it would be more about that kind of role and sort of level and um, maybe a little bit about action, but but the way I now define leadership is more about the, you know, the the actions people take um, and how, you know, how people put themselves out there and the things they do to to influence it. You know, it means it's like taking courageous actions that are going to influence other people to, to do and be their best. And when I say, you know, influence it could be that they want to repeat or replicate your action, or it could be that they just want to be around you more because that they feel, you know, motivated and inspired by you. So I, I know that wasn't super succinct, but those are some thoughts on how I would define a leader. Well, I do some crazy stuff that I don't encourage any people to repeat or replicate. So well, you're <laughs> not a leader then. <laughs> there must be a footnote or something. Um, okay. So, so let's, let's get yeah, into Let's that. not go there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's go into what you spoke about. What was what was on the dinner plate? What was AC delivering to this uh, session? Yeah, well, you know, I get really excited about the opportunity to to be that person that influences people in in a good way, hopefully. Um, so my mission for the like, you know, my whole goal of the of the session was to empower everybody in the audience to have the confidence and. And, and walk away with some real clear action steps on how they can step up as a leader in their role. Um, I have in, in at AC Inc. I've seen it in different people on the team where, you know, they they put themselves out there, or they take initiative, or they they stand up for something they believe in, and I'm like, that's a leader, you know. And so, my hope is to not just through that one keynote, but I'm really I really kind of am on a mission to help people understand that that you know, everybody has the opportunity to be a leader and it's in your actions. And, and that, you know, to, to, to I guess, really to give people that confidence. Um, I, I go, I went through my, a lot of my backstory and I'll, I'll tell you just a little 
secret because nobody watches these rants anyway. Um, <laughs> this is just, just what happens in the Zoom room stays in the Zoom room. Right. <laughs> um, when I first started writing out my thoughts for what I was going to say in this keynote, I was like, I was like, uh, there, so many people have heard my story. They don't want to hear my story. They want to hear like action steps. And then I was like, it's funny because I just step back and go, no, I think they want to hear the story of why, how I got to like my journey as a leader. So I went, I took it all the way back to Kelly Kebab when I was walking around in the Kelly Kebab costume at grand openings and how I was witnessing and observing, you know, my dad as a leader and my mom as a leader. And, and then just kind of going through like, you know, working at our corporate store and I got to be around the franchisees being trained and I could see that in action. And then you know, and then I went out in the field and it was like being thrown in the shark tank. You know, I, all of a sudden franchisees where I was leading them and they weren't listening to me. So I had to learn how to be a leader through experience. And then being a franchisee, I was the youngest franchisee in the chain at 25 years old. And I had staff twice my age. And, and I, I said yesterday that people might hear that and think, well, that, that can't be that hard. You're the, the founder's daughter. You know, you're doing all this stuff. Well, I didn't know how to be a boss. I didn't know how to like get people that were twice my age to listen to me. I just knew how to work in the store. Right. So yes, I worked with franchisees by that point, but you know, entry level employees are a lot different to manage as you would know, than you know, just people that are, are educated in that. So, um, so I went through that journey and my message was, see, like even I could become a leader <laughs> um, from, from then to now. So, and then I talked about now and um, uh I guess uh, I'm doing this rant kind of all by myself today, but <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Basically, I, I, I'm, I'm basically just doing my keynote over again. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to say that I, I think, um, cause probably your next question was going to be like, do you see yourself as a leader? Not only are you a leader, but you are a mind reader as well. <laughs> <laughs> leader and a mind reader. Um, and okay. So I was going to say that like, Honestly, you know, it, it has been really um, flattering, I guess, uh, you know, people reaching out, saying it on in comments on, on, on social media, like on LinkedIn and stuff about like, you know, you're really stepping up for the franchise industry and all this. And I'm like, huh, what is it that's making people say that? And it seems to be, again, I don't think of this as a big deal, but having started the roundtables when everybody was in crisis mode. And, and just being that person that took action and said, like, we're just going to do this. I don't know if it's going to work and, and put myself out there. And um, I guess just continuing to run those and offering that platform for people, especially when there was no travel. I guess some people are traveling now and then the way that those have developed. So um, I guess on that note, if anybody's listening and going, what is she talking about? These roundtables, they can go check out on our website, AngelaCote.com and go to the roundtables page and just see that it's a forum that we've put together, a place for franchisors to come together and, and learn from each other. And so I think people learn the most. You always said this, like when you went to the conferences and you'd hear these, you know, high level franchisors of, you know, they have like 800 units and you're like, I, that's nice, but I can't yeah. relate to that. I want to hear from my peers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. So, I mean, I know AC Inc. does a whole bunch of different things for f established franchisors, merging franchisors, all that sort of stuff, small businesses, the works. So um, what if what if somebody needs actual help in, in leadership, regardless what, what's sort of going on? Should yeah. like, what, what do they do? Do they, do they call you? Oh yeah. <laughs> they do everything. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, leadership is huge in franchising and Absolutely. Um, you know, I think people need to really tune into that. And, you know, so many times franchisors are like, can you come in and, you know, get my franchisees fired up and fix my franchisees? And, I, and then I start talking to them and I'm like, you know, that's like putting a bandaid on it. We need to start with you. Like what, what's like, let's just make sure you actually are, are doing the things you need to do to be a good leader. So absolutely. It's a huge part of the work we do with, with our franchisor clients and, and franchisees need to learn leadership. It's, 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 well, you know what? We we need to wrap this up, but I have a question that I want to save for a different rant. So to leave everyone on the edge of their seats, I want to know what you do when you have somebody in your organization that needs to be a leader, but they are not. Ooh, okay. Okay, let's wrap it up. <laughs> Three, two, one. one. Go be awesome. awesome. <laughs> <laughs>